Hey everybody, Paul and Fiona. And once again, we are here to stop, stop the, the foolishness. foolishness. And so the question we're going to answer today is, how do we meet? Yeah, and you know with these stories, there are always two versions. And I would say the woman's version is usually more accurate. It doesn't have all the embellishments and all the blasphemous. It's just raw, raw truth. So this is my version. We met in 1992. I'm going to slide, but we're going to circle back that's, to that. That's true. We met in 1992 at uh, my grandmother's funeral, my dad's mom. And I remember you across the grave. Uh, okay. There were uh, thousands of people there. How did you know to even be looking for me? Because somehow you found your way to kind of stand right opposite me. And so if I look up, there you were. And... Okay. <laughs> um, I think you had to be looking for me personally. I, like, we're gonna like, well, let it go. You, you I was, act like you've never heard of me before, and this is the first no, time. No, I heard said, about you, okay, and yeah. I hadn't met you the yet. And so I was, I, you know, here I was at the graveside, and it looked up, and there you were. And I think we maybe spoke briefly um, after that, but I think that was, you know, for me, it was like, oh, okay. So when you yeah. heard about me, what did you hear? I didn't hear what. Well, <laughs> there wasn't anything that you would do. I just said, oh, all these girls are falling in love with this guy. Okay. And I just said, uh, that's not going to be me. And So you already tried to build up some resistance to overcome your natural There was no resistance. I, I, just, like you know, you I just knew that resistance. no matter how cute you were, I was not going to be in the number. Okay. All right? I, I didn't say knew. I was cute. I didn't, those I just, I just, no, I just heard. Okay. So I, I just knew that I was not going to be in the number of women. Like, oh, falling over. So anyway. What happened? What did you do? It took some time. You said, it took and he fell all over me. <laughs> <laughs> it took, it, anyway, it okay. took some convincing. Okay, so that's my version. 1992, at the funeral, <laughs> he made his way and to make sure that I saw him. And I think we talked uh, a little bit afterwards. We met briefly afterwards. Yes. And that's my version. That's the now, I don't know version. Whatever you said, uh, some parts in there um, had a sprinkling of truth and accuracy. It was a, a whole truth. Oh, no, that one, that testimony gets you put in jail okay. uh, for oh. perjury. Oh, this but, year. All right. Uh, full disclosure, at the funeral, mm -hmm. I was looking for you. I was looking for you. I was, uh, you know, it was like sad and everything about your grandmother. We're there. I was in training in ministry. I was on the mission field. The Lord is my shepherd. I see what I want. So I'm doing the work of the Lord, and <laughs> I'd heard about you in the process of doing the work of the Lord, and it was how it what happened was, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, your brother-in-law, me and him, were both single, and I heard that he was in love with your sister. Mm -hmm. But then as they were talking about girls, and I'm on the mission field, so I'm starving here. And all of a sudden, as a young man, this trip is... Starving for what? Um, okay, we won't answer that. Okay, edit, okay. Yeah, edit that out. <laughs> but... <laughs> In other words, I hadn't dated in a while. <laughs> and I, I wasn't seeing many opportunities. So uh, when I heard that there was an interest in your older sister, I said, okay. And then in that context, they said, and she has a younger sister, and she's fine, but she has an attitude. And so... I had to have an attitude just to ward everybody off. I, you know, I as far as I was concerned, I didn't care about the attitude. I just needed to know whether she was fine. And... I came to verify if at what the I, funeral. I had to verify. Shame. It was at the funeral, but I need to know Shame. because Shame. I didn't want, you know, people that I cl was close to and trusted, I didn't want to find out that they were liars. So I had to find out if, if you were fine. And, uh, and you had that, it? well, you had the purple dress on and, um, you know, I, I right away, I knew there was something there I could work with. Yep. And that's the story. That's how we met. <laughs> 